This is the National Video Journalist Network. Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Tonight, we honor local women in supply chain and manufacturing, who are leaders from a diversity of industries. This year, we started talking about how to celebrate women in manufacturing. First of all, it's a recognition to them. Secondly, it's a boost to other women who want to follow in the same footsteps. These women provide leadership roles. You know, they are the icons of the industry in many of them. So they are becoming a success story in the whole uh, supply chain industry. The moment you're born, you're in the supply chain. As soon as the hospital gives you baby food, you're a part of the supply chain. As soon as you get diapers from the store, you're a part of the supply chain. And all the life that you will buy anything or sell anything or use anything, it has been delivered because somebody made something, somebody brought it to you in a price, and you got value from it. So that's supply chain. Our bio says all that is in front of you, but more importantly, she believes in what she's doing. <laughs> I'm the second generation owner of a manufacturing company. Uh, we started in 1971 as a defense manufacturer primarily for the Air Force and then we've been really growing our capability and more products, more customers and growing the business uh, quite dramatically in the last 10 years. It was never an intention of mine to become such a strong voice for women in manufacturing uh, and the importance of it, you know, again it's being exemplified tonight that we need to get out there and talk about what we provide to the region in terms of economic impact. Uh, how critical it is for women to be involved in manufacturing, how important it is for women to be in STEM, and also focus on the fact that there are more women in manufacturing. Actually, there's two women that head up a Lockheed and Boeing Defense. It's interesting to see how much has changed in the last 10 or 15 years just in my industry. I am responsible for setting the strategy for both the jars, bottles, tubes and closures, four of our biggest commodities that we have at Estee Lauder, and I'm in charge of balancing the portfolio. Um, I've had fun multiple functional roles at the company, and to me, challenges always represent an opportunity for growth. One of the biggest challenges I have is being pushed outside my comfort zone, and I think everybody has to get pushed outside their comfort zone at some point in time. And for me, that actually entails just knowing that I have the responsibility um, to continue to work hard at what I do, but also at the same point in time, to be empowered, to make some new decisions, and to learn more and grow more. You're working for a pioneer mm -hmm. in the world of manufacturing, in a state order. She was doing it before anybody, and I tell you, the, what is the most amazing thing is the size of the company that we have. We have over 50,000 employees, but it's still, as much as it's a public company, it is a family-run company. She was very innovative in her time and we continue to follow that model today with everything we do and every company that is part of now the Estee Lauder companies. Whether it's food and beverage in and of itself or manufacturing um, and operations, I'm a woman on a floor that is run by men. <laughs> uh, it's challenging to kind of command attention um, and respect in a space that uh, people feel like you need to be in for, for 30 years to really grasp and understand. I'm very fortunate to work in the company that I work for. We have a lot of strong women leaders, but not just strong women leaders. We have leaders from every place you can imagine. Our company is the largest online grocer in New York. Before that, I um, helped Amazon start their forward deploy system, which is when you order the same day, next day items. They come out of the network that I helped start. So a lot of people will tell you that your best attribute is also your worst attribute. And mine is tenacity. Like, I just don't give up. So no matter what I have to do, I just keep trying until I figure it out. And I, I think that the, everybody needs to do that. You just have to keep going, because you'll find the window. You'll find a way to do it, you know, if you keep trying. 